What's going on guys? Daybreak here bringing you guys another figure review. Today we'll be taking a look at the fourth Megazord that has been released by Zaban, Bandai, whoever makes this, which is the Legacy White Tiger Zord. We got the Megazord, we got the Dragon Zord, we got Titanus, and now we have the White Tiger Zord. So super excited to have this. Yes, you did not miss out. I did not review Titanus. I never actually picked up Titanus because it's so expensive. Uh, and uh, yeah, I just don't want to dish out the cash for it. Now, at Toys R Us right now, I think he's going for like 140 or 120 or something along those lines. I'm waiting for it to go underneath 100. So maybe like the $80 range. And when that happens, bam, I'll be on it. So guys, till then, you will probably not see a review on Titanus. But there's already been many different reviews out there for that uh, particular Zord. So yeah, that's that. But here we go. Today, we are taking a look at the White Tiger Zord. And I gotta say, this really brings back some nostalgic just memories and just fun times. For me because this was actually one of the first Megazords that I was able to pick up when I was a little kid. I had the original White Tiger Zord. Uh, I missed out on the Dragon Zord and my friends had it and I was always envious of them. The Megazord I um, had but I broke so my parents threw it away. But this Zord right here I remember having for a very long time. The, stick, the stickers were all just destroyed because of how much I've played around with it. But still, I love that Zord. Uh, like, it was my very own pet or something like that. But yeah, uh, I'm just really excited to have this in my hands now and super excited about it. So we have this awesome, just basic legacy line standard issue box right here. We have the... Uh, the Tiger Zord here, and then we have the Warrior Mode here. On this side, you it just showcases some really weird combination of the White Tiger plus the Dino Omega Zord, which doesn't make any sense, but hey, you can do it, so that's that. Uh, down below here, there's some stats for you, which is pretty cool. I love the fact that they include this. Alright, and moving on to the back. It just once again showcases the two different ways you can display your uh, Tiger Zord and it has the story of how Tommy became the White Ranger. Uh, on the side here we have an awesome picture of the White Ranger with Saba and there you have it. That is the entire packaging. Guys, stick around. I'll be right back. I'm going to take this guy out of package and we'll see what he has to offer. Give me a sec guys. Be right back. And we are back. Guys, we have the White Tiger Zord out of package, and this is an awesome figure. For those of you guys who've never had the original White Tiger Zord, this is a great tribute to that original figure because the transformation is the same. Uh, pretty much the whole thing is the same, but they took out all the unnecessary stuff. They took out all the crappy parts that just were obsolete. They took out all the stickers and they just gave us this beautiful figure. Now guys, here we go. Let's start with the Tiger Zord and then we'll change him to the Warrior Mode and then we'll talk about it some more. So here we go. In the Tiger Zord, you have just this awesome tiger head. I love that uh, just expression on his face where he has that orb, that red orb. Just showcased right there. Love it. I love the fact that you can move his jaw, which is great. Um, the paint job on the face particularly, I really do dig it. I love the nice gold that they used here. The nice metallic red eyes. If I turn him to the side here, I love the gunmetal um, gray that they used here with the lighter gray here. I mean, just everything about this is just very nostalgic and very just familiar and awesome at the same time even like stuff like this which used to be stickers now it's just molded there which is super nice uh, even these pieces right here the arm pieces were stickers but now this is all paint 
on the side if you had the original these pieces right here with these little sphere things that came off and over time they were just so loose that it would always pop out but nope not anymore these are set in here and it's not going to ever pop out so that's quite nice now honestly speaking it's a very compact zord i mean if you compare it to my hand it's not that much bigger than my hand obviously the tail makes it stand out a little bit more but it's about the size of my hand which is not big at all but very compact but they did a very nice job with all of the different mechanics and whatnot so there you have it paint job uh molding sculpt transformation i give this thing an a it's amazing i love it all right so i'm gonna have to move this up a tad bit give me a sec and let's do the transformation so the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take out and take out his tail piece which happens to be a sword it's very easy to plug in and out you see this hole right here Put this piece here and then these two grooves here they go into the sides you'll see the little peg holes here and here so it attaches there so that's that um so real quickly the sword is a nice just basic plastic this will not break but just be careful if you bend it too much you could definitely wear out the plastic but i love the fact that they uh, gave us this nice gold and then the Red is metallic and the white is just white. So there you go. All right, on to the Tiger Zord itself. Let's do some transformations. So, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to collapse his paws, turn it in. Oh, totally forgot. Give me a sec. We have to first pull out his uh, legs and then bring him down here now the first time you go about and do this you're gonna feel like you're gonna definitely break something but the plastic is pretty sturdy and you don't need to stress too much too much must much so we take this out come on and even now I'm having issues but it's fine it does take a little bit of just maneuvering but it's not too difficult. So the bottom half is pretty much done. All we need to do now is just move his head down. So there's his chest piece. Then fold these up, revealing the awesome tiger, the emblem. Turn his hands and there you go. That's pretty cool. So the upper torso is done now. All we need to do with the head is pull it out bam there you have it we have the white tiger zord in warrior mode ready for battle now one thing that i do have a gripe about and i think i might return this one because maybe it's just mine but if you take a look at his jaw it seems like it's not aligned or it, the plastic is kind of like tilted i don't know why that is but it seems that way and it's really bothering me and there is a little bit of paint defect here but other than that it's nothing too uh, crazy that I have to be like no stay away so here we go in warrior mode this guy is awesome he has all the features that you could possibly want he has ratchety joints for the arms he does have a upper forearm swivel but that's more due to the transformation the cool thing about his hands here it's actually articulated so you just put the sword in whichever hand you like and then just close and there you go you'll have the tiger zord holding his sword no problem he doesn't have a waist swivel he can look up a tad bit but that's once again due to the transformation um the legs can bend at this point right here at the knees but other than that that's all you can really do with this guy he is a brick of a uh, zord but honestly speaking that's what we're so accustomed to so i'm not at all disappointed with this now yes you could get him into the the ultra mode or whatever you want to call it uh you can maneuver these down revealing the zord builder ports but i don't really like messing with that uh why because i don't like putting uh, like for example uh, they had on the box 
a picture of the white tiger zord with the mega zord and they've never done that ever so i am probably not going to do that myself um i'm just going to keep it like this and then once we get the ninja shogun mega zord then we might be able to do some cool stuff with it but you have the alternate head and you could definitely pull out his visor so yeah that is all built in for you and hopefully crossing our fingers we will be getting more of these awesome zords i am digging it i love it um other than this jaw piece being a little crooked on mine i'm not sure if i could fix that but yeah uh, other than that, I think this is a phenomenal figure if you are into these Megazords. So there you have it, guys. There is my review on the White Tiger Zord. I mean, look at this guy. All of this, which once used to be stickers, is now paint and it's molded on. So you don't need to ever worry about uh, the stickers wearing off and whatnot. I love the fact that they gave us the fingers uh, with artic that are articulated and I just love it this is so show accurate like the emblem here there's no freaking the thunder logo anywhere everything is just spot on uh, there this guy does have a little heft to him and it's because the die cast is in his joints so there's some die cast here here I think uh, there's some die cast, yep, on his paws. And I think that's about it. Or maybe there's some die cast on his head as well. But not so much, but still worthy to note. All right, guys. So that's it for my review. Guys, I hope you enjoyed. Please rate, comment, subscribe. And yeah, I guess that's it for me for today. So this is Daybreak748. I'm signing out. Peace out, guys.